Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's weekly bump for Monday, November 7th. I hope you all are doing wonderful this week and happy eclipse in Taurus. I hope the eclipse goes very, very well for each and every one of you. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this. So we have three piles that you can choose from. Okay. Now I don't know the name of these stones. They were just in some big bin at some souvenir shop. So I don't know exactly what they are, but for pile one, we have like a magenta, colored stone for pile two we have a violet and for pile three we have like an orange cream colored stone okay so now not everyone always feels intuitively drawn and that's perfectly fine if you want to pause the video and feel your way through you may or if you want to just randomly select a pile you can do that as well i always say there's an element of destiny involved in these readings so timestamps for everything will be found in the description box and the comment thread down below and don't forget that if you are a subscriber to my website of any any tier you will have access to the weekly extended readings that I do for each zodiac sign. So keep your eyes out for the email that I send out for that. All right. Thank you all so much. You guys know I love and adore you, and I'll see you in just a sec. Hello, pile number one. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with the very first card that came out, which says, The Age of Light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. I have felt for a couple of weeks now that this particular full moon lunar eclipse, which is happening, um, you know, late tonight, early tomorrow, um, kind of is this moment where we have this opportunity to take a big step towards something that's meaningful for us. It's meaningful for our lifestyle it's meaningful for our finances for our relationships for our families i feel like there's been this building up of courage in order to do something and you're having to kind of bite the bullet here and say you know what like this is what i'm meant for like i'm tired of having mediocrity in this area i'm tired of just sort of coasting through and I think it's that moment where when you decide how tired you are of a current situation remaining as is and never changing, that you finally truly embrace these energies inside of you. That's like, well, this is who I really need to be. And there may need to be some internal changes. You know, there may need to be some kind of a new self that needs to emerge. When I say a new self, I just mean maybe a different attitude, maybe a different perspective, and maybe just better choices, you know? Prosperity lies ahead. See, there's no reason to be afraid. There's no reason to feel like things are going to fall flat because they won't. I feel like the choices that you're making, and especially if you are making some kind of an upfront investment. So if there's like a financial investment, right, obviously, because we've got Scorpio and Taurus activation here right now. So finances are very important. So if there is some kind of a financial investment into something, chances are it will work out in your favor and that it will end up being profitable for you. All right, let's pull out one of these questions here. This one says, what do I resist feeling right now? Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you are resisting feeling dark, deep emotions that are creeping up, although it could be that we are still in Scorpio season after all, and we do have Jupiter in Pisces. Um, so if there are like deep, dark feelings arising, please, you know, allow yourself to feel them. But I think more than anything, there may be resistance to that feeling of readiness because you may be trying to make excuses of all the reasons why you're not ready. And maybe there was a, an opportunity in the past that you actually took and you were like, okay, this is my chance. This is my moment. But then maybe it didn't work out or it didn't lead you into the place where you thought it was going to lead you. And so now you're maybe even res be resisting hope, hope that this may be your, your big break, or this may be the very thing that you absolutely need in order to to really like <laughs> go forward. Um, it's like embrace your readiness. Are you resisting that feeling of readiness? Are you resisting that feeling of like it's time? 
what does this say on the back? Let me just read the back here as well. Cause I worked it into the reading, but it has its own meaning on its own. So this says we have to feel it to heal it in order to let go of pain. We first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Okay. I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm not going to add anything to it. That's beautiful. All right, what else for pile number one? What else does pile number one need to know as we make our way into this upcoming week? Six of coins. Four of cups. The tower. The Knight of Swords. Well, the Tower does not surprise me. I know that this particular full... Now, the full moon, you may not have like a huge event that happens. Uh, maybe not on the day of. Maybe going out. And this may not be a bad thing either. Um, this may be something good that happens. You may get... Um, a completely new door that opens for you that is out of the blue and out of nowhere and is kind of shocking in its own right. That's very possible. The Knight of Swords here, I love the energy, how he's just barreling in toward that tower. Like he's ready. He's all for it. And I feel like maybe you are like, you're all for it. You're all for the change. And then change has been such a huge word that I have been like saying over and over and over, especially since the North node has been conjunct Uranus for really since the very end of July, beginning of August. Um, there's been this extraordinarily obvious thing in our minds. It's like, all right, this does need to change. I do need to evolve. I do need to, uh, you know, transform in some way in order to be that person or in order to have that thing or that lifestyle. The Knight of Swords, again, that readiness, like he's all ready, all ready to go. And if there is some kind of outflow, I often see a reciprocity here with that six of coins. So any outflow means there's an inflow on the other end of it. Do not be afraid. Do not be stringent. Do not be, you know, grubby. Like where you have your hands, like, you know, like where you're so tightly gripping what you have, you know, if, if you're tightly gripping and desperately holding on to what you have, there is very little chance that something new and something good can make its way in because you are giving all of the energy to what currently is because there may be a lot of fear in letting go of that thing. Six of coins is a very loose energy. It's, yeah, sure, take this and I'll receive that later on. And yeah, sure, here you go. And then you receive some, it's like very relaxed and it's, there's no desperation here at all. Now with the four of cups, there is an element of choosiness though. So I'm not saying that you're being, you know, loosey goosey with everything. Uh, I think you are being highly selective and actually the more selective you are being, chances are that tower is going to be a better and better thing because when you are choosy and selective, you are communicating with the universe, what it is that you will and will not tolerate in your life. And when that tower comes in, we're saying like, we've said enough times what we don't want. And so the things that we don't want have to fall apart. So I always say the tower is the wheel of fortune in disguise. There's nothing wrong or bad with the tower. It can sometimes be a little bit sudden and sometimes we can feel that it's a little premature, like something premature is going on. Um, but energetically you are ready. Okay. Even though in your conscious mind, there may be resistance, but energetically you're there. So I wouldn't second guess yourself right now. There's really no reason. That's a complete waste of energy. And if you catch yourself doing it, which likely you will, we all do. If you catch yourself second guessing yourself, it's important for you to like take a moment, take a breath, reset, reboot and say, you know what? I don't have to think this way. I don't have to feed myself with these negative thoughts that I don't or can't or don't deserve or shouldn't or whatever the case is like this is what I say that I want 
This is what I say that I want. The universe is opening that opportunity for me to get it. Now, this may not look like what you expect it to look like. Hardly ever does. It may be through a person that you never expected to enter into your life, or it may be a new client that you never expected, or a new sum of money, or an outflow of money, whatever the case is. But this really is your best friend. And by taking a risk and making an investment, you are lining yourself up for significant levels of prosperity, as that card up there says. So this is a good week to sit down with yourself and to decide, right? To make decisions about stuff to decide what needs to change, to decide what needs to be released, and to dive into the scary places, to dive into the scary aspects of what's going on and realize that there actually isn't anything that scary, okay? It's kind of like um, there's this video that's been viral for a long time, or it went viral a long time ago, and it's been circulating as a meme for a long time. It's like a little kid in a swimming pool, and he's hanging onto one of those like floaty ropes, and he's like freaking out, freaking out. And then the mom sort of picks him up and puts him on his feet. And he realizes that he could stand up the whole time. It's like he was way overthinking the whole process and making this whole big scenario in his head completely unnecessarily. I think that's kind of what's going on here. It's all just a little maybe over dramatized in your mind. And now is the time to say, you know what? I just need to look at the reality. I am capable. I am deserving. And I'm just going to go for it. Okay. All right, pile one, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much. You guys know I love and adore you. Have an amazing week. Happy eclipse. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, pile number two, you guys selected this blue stone here. So let's take a look. It says the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. It's highly likely that you may be affiliating with people that are perfectly in line with what it is you're trying to do which is excellent because community is sometimes sometimes we kind of take it for granted and we don't often always think about it. well some people do a lot but not everybody not everybody always thinks about their network and their community and their you know their circle of influence very often I think that's going to be a point of focus for you right now. And I love that for the uranium and energy that's coming out to play right now <laughs> with this, with this eclipse, you know, it's very much about aligning with people who have your, who have your back, who support you. And I'm kind of like envisioning like a, um, I don't know why this is coming to my mind. Maybe this may apply to you. Maybe not, but you can use this as an analogy. I'm envisioning like a, like a group coaching or a group mastermind type thing or like going to a retreat and being around people that are all in the healing process or they all have some kind of a common goal you know like in a business setting they're all people who are wanting to grow their businesses and make money and spirituality there's healing and you know, with, with any other thing, right? Taking a cooking class, you're all trying to learn how to cook, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but there's something beautiful about those types of unions right now, where it's not really about getting to know each other on a more personal level and getting to know the ins and outs and the inner workings of a person, but like standing side by side with people and trying to accomplish something bigger than themselves. And I love the beauty of that for you. And, and perhaps maybe right now that's something that you really need. Uh, maybe you need to get out of yourself a little bit and go be with other people. So let's see. And maybe new people. I'm not saying all of you are like super hermits, but um, maybe there's a new circle or a new group of people that could be highly advantageous for you in the in the remaining months of 2022 so this card says it's a time to give rather than take now when i hear give sometimes and it's a new moon in virgo so sometimes that's attributed to like actual service now I don't want you to think that that has to be the case. Like you don't have to go volunteer at the local homeless shelter if you don't want to. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. That's not what this card means. Giving, I think, means sometimes even just giving someone else the spotlight. And being in a new group of people could absolutely do that. Giving someone else the spotlight or giving someone else the emotional support or giving someone else the 
the pat on the back and the congratulations, you know, that kind of thing. It's, it's really like when you're with a tribe, when you're with this community of people, it makes it so much easier to be outside of yourself. And sometimes some of the greatest healing occurs when you do that because things kind of come into perspective and things that maybe were so built up in your mind, they suddenly shrink down and they don't feel so insurmountable anymore. This is as much for you as it is for the other person. Sometimes people hear like, I've been, you know, they heard, hear the word give. And it's like, oh my God, well, I've been giving to that toxic narcissist person for 20 years. Ah. It's like, that's not really giving. All right. There, there's a difference between like a codependent situation or a full on self-sacrificial or a trauma, or there's something completely different. Real giving comes from a place of love and support. It comes from a divinity. It comes from an understanding that we are all one and we are all connected. You do not have to lose yourself in this process. In fact, actually, chances are you will become more and more in tune with yourself throughout this process. Okay. To whom am I comparing myself right now? Well, that's interesting, especially because we have the the people here. So there may be someone or multiple people that you're saying, well, maybe I'm not as far along. I don't have as much money. My business isn't as successful. I'm not as happy, blah, 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 blah. That's going to be a very, uh, it's going to be obvious to you when you're doing that. Like we know when we're doing that, I highly recommend trying your best to catch yourself from doing that. And again, time to give. If you're comparing yourself and it's negative, it's not always negative. Sometimes we're like, oh yeah, I'm totally kicking butt. This is awesome. But if it does happen to be on the negative side, meaning, oh, that person is doing so much better than me, that would actually be a good time for you to like, you know, send them a, a DM or a comment or meet with them or whatever the case is. And, you know, say you're doing so well, how can I how can I help you or sending P like if it's a business person, right? Sending your friends to go to like supporting them because chances are the reason why you're comparing yourself and feeling badly is because maybe there is a little bit of a twinge of jealousy. And often that twinge of jealousy is a beautiful indication that that's something that we want to be. We want to move in that direction. We want to have those types of things and it can actually be a really inspirational thing. And it's hard not to compare. I mean, as much as we would like to be all like, you know, in our spiritual bubble and never do anything, <laughs> do anything bad. bad, like it's impossible not to compare, especially if we are in fact on social media, it's very challenging to not do that. So let's, let me just read the back of the card here. It says what you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. Beautiful. I love that. That kind of goes in line with what I was saying. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these tarot cards now for the week for pile two. What else does pile two need to know for the week? The lovers, five of coins, page of coins, and the hermit. So, well, <laughs> I said, well, you're not all being hermits, then we get the hermit card, of course. That's how it always works. Um, but actually there is a wisdom, a beautiful wisdom that comes through and, and a hermit who has his spiritual house in order, right? Meaning he does have that self-awareness. He is aware of his ego as well. And he knows when to use his ego. And I think for some, I don't know why ego is coming to my mind with that card. That's really weird, but it is. And I actually feel like using and utilizing your ego to your benefit is actually a really good thing right now, that there could be a lot of productivity in your life um, by saying like, this is the human experience that I want to have and actually taking all your spiritual knowledge, but really channeling it through your humanness. And I feel like, you know, 
I'm sorry. I just like, I'm just keep looking at this lovers and it's distracting me. So let me just talk about the lovers. There is um, kind of a divine union happening. And I love that with it's all coming together. Cause I often see the yin yang happening here with the lovers. There's this perfect balance. And with the comparing yourself to others, like I am in you and you are in me, you know, and there's little pieces. What did I even say on the back here? It's only visible because it is within you ready to be brought out, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're meeting with certain soulmates right now. And, and again, soulmates does not have to be romantic. It could be, but likely it's not. Um, the certain people that are coming into your life specifically to illuminate certain aspects of you that are needing to come out because they have been in like, I'm kind of like hearing like they've been in prison. This is not even a prison card, but that's what I'm hearing with it. It's like, they've been in prison for a very long time. You have been holding them hostage. You have not been sharing these talents and these skills with the world in any way. And it is time for you to let those things shine. And certain people are going to show you how to do that. They're going to help guide you and they're going to help motivate you. And they're going to show you um, not only how to do it, but also how to exceed with it as well. And with the page of coins, it is going to be a step-by-step -step process. But again, you have the wisdom to do this. It's like you are going to be able to watch yourself go through this almost as though it isn't even really you. This is very much a playing a video game type of energy where you are kind of floating up top, watching your avatar do the work. Um, the avatar is the one that has the ego. It's the one that has the drive. It's the one that has that ambition, you know, and here you are sort of that higher intelligence, allowing your human self to do what it feels that it needs to do. There's a learning curve page of coins. All right. There's a learning curve. There is a, I always see like an apprentice with the pages. So there's like an apprenticeship going. So it's almost as though you're learning a new craft to a degree these skills and these personality traits that are likely coming out to shine, they are going to be honed over time. So you're not locked in stone with anything here. There's nothing permanent, but I do feel that the direction and the commitment to the direction is going to be pretty, pretty solid. Okay. All right. Going to leave you with that. Thank you so much. Pile number two. You guys know I love and adore you. Have an amazing week and a happy eclipse. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number three. You guys selected this side of orangey, creamy, beigey stone. So we're going to start with trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? You know, there is something going on in the air right now where I feel like there is no chance of failure. Genuinely, I do not feel that there is a chance of failure. Now, when I say failure, I don't mean you may not change directions later on, but I do not see any sort of crash and burn right now. Your path has been honed in, right? You've been kind of chiseling this path for quite some time. And now we are starting to be asked to like really commit to it throughout Scorpio season to really commit and to become kind of entwined with our path to a degree, if you can visualize that a little bit. Um, and there's this open door for taking some big risks and taking some big chances, even though they may feel foreign to you, it may feel uncomfortable, it may feel, you know, very strange, but actually I'm sensing a lot of success for everybody. Okay. Everyone that's taking the chances anyway. The universe is supporting you, your higher self, the people around you take time to breathe out. You may be overthinking things a little bit. You may be projecting a little bit too much failure out there. You may be um, trying to preemptively like prepare for some negative possibilities. Like, oh man, well, what if I run out of money? Or, oh, what if they break up with me? Or, oh, what if it doesn't work? What if it's, what if, you know, the community finds out and it's like, oh, it's embarrassing, you know, like whatever the thing is, just breathe. It's not going to happen. If you're doing any worst case scenario stuff right now, it's, it's not going to happen. And if you give so much energy and attention to it, 
I mean, it'll be just more likely to happen, but that's more because you're driving the ship there. You know, I'm not saying you can't be prepared for if something goes wrong, but I wouldn't like make that the whole emphasis or make that the whole focus right now. Just breathe. Okay. Because after tomorrow morning, very early in the morning, um, that moon is going to start waning coming off of that eclipse. And it's going to start waning for the, it's going to keep waning for two weeks until it hits that new moon in Sagittarius on the 23rd. So it's going to be a time to just like decompress a little bit. I think you got a lot of balls rolling between October 25th with the new moon eclipse in Scorpio and, to, and the, the full moon now. You got a lot of things rolling. And so now it's just a matter of keeping them going. Am I afraid to be seen? Okay, well... It's a very good question. Are you afraid to put yourself out there? Are you afraid to, I don't know why I'm getting in like the, like envisioning someone like on some kind of a, an, an interview, like an interview show, like how Oprah would interview people or how they interview people on like, you know, morning news and all that kind of stuff. It's like, am I afraid to be seen? Am I afraid to let people that I don't know or that I don't have control over, right? Am I afraid to put up my social media? Am I afraid to develop this content? Am I afraid to put myself out there on a dating app? <laughs> you know, um, let's read the back of it. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love and from love you are whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, I think it's time. Your path is calling you, right? If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? <laughs> like, you're going to be supported. I guarantee it. You're going to be supported. You're not going to fail. It's not going to be as bad as you may be thinking. It's just simply not. Page of Cups, beautiful. Seven of Cups. Seven of Coins. And the Queen of Cups. Well, I'm liking the cups because there's a softness here. I like the nurturing quality of the Queen of Cups. She definitely is offering the more maternal quality. But I always say she's the one that holds the Holy Grail. She's the one that has the cup that's different from all the other cups on all the other cards. You know, she's, she's like this keeper of of the divinity that exists within you. She's the keeper. She's the, the one who keeps that safe. And she's also the one that says it's time to share. You are, it is, you are being called right now to share. And I'm, I'm looking at this, like take time to breathe out. I'm envisioning someone who has to go on stage and it's like, they're very nervous. And so they take a minute to just breathe a couple times before walking into that spotlight. But I think you are about to walk into that spotlight. It's something very confusing for you. I think it's, it's really hard for you to like envision yourself being successful by being out there, being successful by putting yourself in front of people you don't know, whatever the situation may be, whatever area of your life you're concerned about right now. But you're being very gently guided in this way. It's, it's so gentle. Like there's there's no big push. There's no like drama. It's just slow and easy. And, and it's like with the page of cups, it's all very receptive. And you'll notice that the more you put yourself out there, the more receptive people are. You put yourself out there a little bit more. People are more receptive, right? The more you share your gold, the more people appreciate it and admire it. And I actually feel like the word admiration is actually coming to me quite strong, that people will admire you. They will admire your courage. They'll admire your quote unquote audacity, right? Some people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, the audacity, but they actually will secretly be inspired by it. Do not be afraid of what people think. Maybe that's a big thing for you. Do not be afraid of what people think. I'm telling you like this, this has to happen because 
I feel like you've been in the same place. You've been spinning your wheels for some time. Now, if you watch the love reading that I posted on Friday, there was one love reading. I think it was the third pile that wasn't really about love, but there was this message of like getting off the merry-go-round, right? And it was like getting off the merry-go-round of being in the same circumstances that you've been in. And I do feel with this seven of coins, that's a similar message. Like it's time for you to stop spinning your wheels. It's time for you to get off that merry-go-round and to like truly let the shine that wants to happen, happen. <laughs> let the shine happen. Let the, you know, let the, um, let the beauty out. The world needs it. The world needs your voice. It needs your face. It needs your energy. It needs your story. You know, and I think you're offering so much value and will continue to offer more and more and more value as you proceed down this path. But this is locked in. I feel like this is some kind of a destiny thing. All right. This is locked in. It's time for you to step into the spotlight. Okay. All right. Pile number three. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much. You know, I love and adore you. Have an amazing week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.